lovelies, it's Pepsi Glow. Welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe, watch my videos, like my videos, share my videos, and please turn on the notification bell so you get notified each time I upload a new video. So lovelies, today I'm going to teach you the right way to identify your skin types. When it comes to using skincare products and when it comes to formulating skincare products, it's very important you know your skin type. It's also very important to know the skin types of customers and clients so that you'll be able to produce or make skincare products that are suitable for different skin types. I've noticed that most people don't know their skin types. When you ask them their skin type, they'll be like they don't know. So today I'm going to help you, teach you the right way to identify your skin type. So I'm going to start with dry skin. So the right way to identify a dry skin type. After having your bath or after shower, when you touch the surface of your skin, the texture of your skin feels so rough. As in, after taking your shower, test touch the texture of your skin, it will feel so dry. Apart from that, after having your bath or your shower, you feel this tightness on your skin. And your skin is always rough and dry, no matter what. So you need to moisturize your skin all the time. You need to moisturize your skin. You need to remain hydrated, like you need to consume enough water every day. And you know, people with dry skin, they are prone to wrinkles. They are prone to fine lines. As in their, their skin are hardly smooth. So in order for you to help treat your dry skin, you need to use moisturizing ingredients in your skincare products. You, used to, you need to use ingredients like honey. Whenever you're formulating a cream or a lotion or any skincare product at all, for somebody that has a dry skin, make sure you include moisturizing ingredients like coconut oil, like honey, like almond oil. This will help to treat dry skin. And always advise your customers with dry skin to keep their skin hydrated and moisturized. That means they need to consume enough water every day and they need to moisturize their skin every day morning and night if not their skin will remain dry so for people that have oily skin the way you identify an oily skin person is when you look at the person's face the second skin type i'm going to be talking about is oily skin it's always very easy to identify people with oily skin because most times you notice that your face glows your face is always glowing and your face is always shining when you touch the surface of your skin especially your cheeks your cheeks will appear oily you can even feel the oil on your hands when you touch your forehead your nose your chin is always oily so it's very easy to identify oily skin people then you notice that when you apply makeup on your face it hardly stays that's because your skin is oily that's because you have too much sebum that's the natural the, the that's the natural oil the skin produces so when you want to use a skincare product always use a skincare product that does not contain you know all those oils that are heavy when you apply it on your skin it will just stay on your skin it will not be able to absorb into your skin Avoid products that contain alcohol. Avoid products that contain fragrance. You can always use natural products. It works best for oily skin people. Because oily skin people are, are prone to break out. They break out easily. They are prone to acne. And makeup hardly stays on their face. So if you're that type, if you fall in that category, just know you have an oily skin and try and try to protect your skin from those ingredients that I mentioned earlier. Also, if you have an oily skin, be careful of what you eat. Uh, protect your skin, just be careful of what you eat. Also, oily skin people, I would advise you wash your skin, always wash your face 
morning and night at least two times in a day and anytime you expose yourself to the sun or anytime you sweat wash your skin it will help to protect your skin from breakouts but one good thing about oily skin people is that it's very it's very difficult for them to have wrinkles and fine lines they are they are not they don't age fast like people with dry skin but when it comes to acne dark spots they are prone to it so the next skin type that i'm going to be talking about is sensitive skin people with sensitive skin they react easily to new products if you have a sensitive sensitive skin you'll notice that anytime you use a new skincare product you start having rashes your skin starts reacting so i would advise if you have a sensitive skin so I would advise if you have a sensitive skin, always carry out a patch test before you use any new skincare products. Um, stop changing skincare products if you have a sensitive skin. The way you carry out, you carry out a patch test, you can apply a little uh, quantity of the new product on your arm, forearm, allow it to stay 24 hours. If it doesn't react, then you, you know that the product will suit your skin also if you have a sensitive skin protect your skin from harsh weather condition like sunburn like harsh weather, weather condition because things like that can, uh, can easily affect your skin and always use a uh, skincare products that are <coughs> gentle to use on the skin try as much as possible to use natural skincare products Products that contains aloe vera gel, that you know those um, ingredients that calms the skin, like aloe vera gel, like peppermint essential oil, you know all those products that when you apply to your skin, it helps to calm the skin. Even honey is also good for people. The next skin type that I'm going to be talking about is combination skin. Combination skin is the mix of oily and dry skin. If you have a combination skin, you notice you notice that your T zone is always oily. Your T zone is your forehead, then your nose. Notice that your your forehead is always oily, your nose is always oily, but your cheeks are always dry. That's how you know if you have a combination skin. Some part of your face, like your forehead, like your nose, will be oily, but your your cheeks will always be dry so if you have a combination skin you have to know the, the type of skincare product you use because you need to use products that can work for when you want to apply some product on your face that means you, you need to use product that works for both oily skin people and dry skin people because you have some part of your face are oily some part of your face are dry so it's best to use maybe oils like almond oil, hoba oils. Just try and use products that are good for all skin types. When you're formulating a product like lotions and cream, make sure you go for products, ingredients that are good for all skin types. Since you have a combination skin, you, you, your, some of your, your part of your skin are oily, some are dry. So always go for skincare products that suits all skin types to be on the safe side so that's for that's for combination skin so for normal skin people they don't have problems your skin is normal most times you don't even need to use moisturizers most times you don't even need to use you know you can just take your bath your skin is normal it's always smooth you're not prone to acne you're not prone to break hearts you're not prone to hyperpigmentation sunburn you can even do without using skincare products people with normal skin they are the lucky ones they don't have to spend so much taking care of their skin because they are blessed with normal skin but people like me with oily skin we are prone to acne breakouts glowing face shiny face makeup hardly lasts on our skin 
So we have to be mindful of the kind of skincare products we use. Dry skin people also, sensitive skin people also, then combination skin people also have to be mindful of the kind of skincare products they use. And if your skincare formulator is good, you, you study, you make research on skin types. So that when so if you're a skincare formulator, before you formulate any skincare product at all, always have this in mind. Know your skin type. Know the skin types of people you're making skincare products for. Make research. Find out the skincare ingredients that best suit their skin types. When you make proper research, you'll be able, especially if you're into natural skincare, you'll be able to produce super effective skincare products. So when it comes to making natural skincare products, organic skincare products, the first factor to determine are people's skin types. So lovely people, we've come to the end of today's video. If this video is helpful, please, I need you to subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe, subscribe. Watch my videos, like my videos, share my videos, and please turn on the notification bell so you get notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.